Hi guys, Nesk here. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the CUDA developer driver on Ubuntu. Uh, in my case, it's Ubuntu 10.10. .10. As you can see, uh, the, there is no driver installed because uh, the windows are all choppy and weird looking. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just emptying my trash quickly. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so what you want to do is okay, before you do that, I mean, find this page. This is just a list of all the the CUDA stuff. You can find that by going to Google and just typing in uh, NVIDIA CUDA and then go in here. Oh, actually, hold on. This will save you some time. Nope. Yeah, so there we go. That's it. That's the Linux section and that's the driver there. Depending on your system, it's either 64 bit or 32 bit. So I'll download the driver you want. Um, I have mine already downloaded it in the directory called downloads so there it is there um, but what you really want to do is okay let's go and start the Catisco but what can you do go to my blog yeah uh, nisco last access dot com and the reason I'm doing this because I listed the tutorial and I cannot freaking remember what it says um, this will save you some time. You don't actually have to watch the video if you don't want to. But the reason I'm doing it is because of this command. Okay. Um, you, what you want to do is read this. This will probably be helpful, more helpful than the video. But this is just for people who are a bit new to Linux and maybe, maybe, maybe taken aback by the interface. Um, but yeah, essentially, first thing you do is this: start run this command. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, I'll my terminal and just let it run without my password. Uh, click yes. Okay, so that's going to download it, install it. Happy days. Um, yeah, so you can forget my blog now. That's just to help you out. Uh, it's called NISC. Lastaxis.com. The actual website lastaxis doesn't exist yet because I'm lazy. But the blog is up, so check it out if you want. Okay, so I think that's still with Firefox. Okay, well, while that's running, I'm gonna show you the next step, which is making the the file name executable or the file executable. So I have a download downloads. Uh, I'm going to open a new terminal. Okay, the other one's still running and downloading stuff, so I just leave it. Uh, to change the directory, uh, cd, if we change directory, downloads, ls, okay. Um, that's, there's only one file name, which is that one. I'm actually going to close that. Um, so there. Now, as you can see, it's now executable. Um well let's make it executable. Uh chmod plus x for executable and the file name. So let's see, we're gonna try to copy that. Um you can either copy with like this or you can copy with control shift v. You can't use control c because that has a special meaning and basically terminates any running program in the terminal. Um, so you have to use Control Shift C and similar Control Shift V to paste anything. So there you go. Now it's executable, and that's it for that part. Okay, this thing's actually finished. So I'm gonna close that now. Let's see. Next step, I can't actually show you because it requires killing the GNOME desktop manager. Um, I could learn it out here, but technically speaking, it's actually quicker if you go here. Oh shit, I closed it again, didn't I? Oh, frick. Oh, there we go, IT. It's gonna mess up my stats, but what can you do? Anyway, um, what you wanna do is hit Control alt and F1 to run the virtual terminal. 
log in using username and password, blah 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 blah. You have to type this in to stop the desktop manager, otherwise you won't be able to install your driver. So basically then go into the the directory. We already did this step so you don't have to do it again. Um then you just run the driver by sudo dot forward slash and the file name. Okay, um yeah the final thing you want to do is restart which is sudo shoot down uh minus or zero. Okay, that will restart your machine and you should be able to see the whole that's that being nice and shiny with your new driver. That's it. Okay, thanks for checking out my tutorial. Um sorry if it's mostly manual uh as opposed to video work. Yeah, so you're gonna have to read a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, uh thanks for checking it out. If you want to see any more videos, uh subscribe. I'll leave recommendations and comments. Thanks for checking it out.